Beginning podcast. Welcome back, guys. Podcast number 10. I had to do a bit of a count there, didn't I? Ten, yeah. We're joined here today with co host Mark. Mark Johnson. Hello. Um, so, just a few things. We're just going to recap last night's race um, on, on Swift and talk about a few other things that have sort of scarred the internet of the local scene, the local social, social medias. Um, the only thing we've found so far is two dates. What were those dates again, Mark? I've lost them. Tour on my of Ards, 29th of May, and the North Down GP, 22nd of August. And that's all we've all got. All being well. The lockdown is being lifted to a certain extent. I um, haven't got confirmation dates from Cycling Ireland yet, but you were on. I heard that um, Level 5 is still being enforced until April the 1st. And then level five remains until Easter Monday, which is the fifth. Probably don't want to lift it this side of Easter and everyone will go crazy. We'll back yep. back the score one. Yeah. Back the lockdown It'll be like point one. Christmas, two weeks of Christmas, lockdown, four months. So we'll just a bit of a recap on last week. I had a new well, not a new FTP, but last Friday night. Decided to jump on to a twenty minute test. Third best test ever. Twenty minute yeah, effort. Didn't do too bad. Yeah. A few, few boys were scared. Yeah. A couple of texts coming through. A couple of boys were imp- <laughs> impressed. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Impressed myself. Did you get out of the weekend yourself? In the yeah, real world? Yeah, I actually got some tarmac cycling done. Unbelievable. Uh, didn't get out on Saturday. Uh, lack of sleep on Friday night. But Sunday, three and a half hours. Good man. With my English friend Pete. English Pete. Yeah. And then we. Good, good crack. Jump, well, I jumped on a couple of. Swift sessions did one on Tuesday night. Thought it was being smart, uh, jumping on there and doing a bit of a recon because it was the same course that we had on Wednesday night. And to be honest, I felt I felt good. Perhaps I on Tuesday. Perhaps too good. Too good. Tuesday doesn't count. It's Wednesday. You need to feel yeah. good. Left my legs there. Uh, did it. Gary Conson was doing the race, and uh, as as he says, "What the fuck are you trying to ride away for?" So. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I left the legs on Tuesday night and then we dived in on Wednesday and didn't have much left. That's a bit like that. Um, give us some numbers there. Basically, what was the views and stuff? And uh, we're up to f- we had four hundred and nine views on the YouTube and there was a hundred live views on Facebook and there was five hundred and fifty-eight riders in the race. Jeez, I seen that by five minutes before the start and was like, yeah, there's guys still entering last minute. Top ten would be good. Yeah, well, that's the way I was working on Swift there a few weeks ago. You know, you just maybe do a warm up and then you get to a certain stage. You were like, do you know what? I'll jump on a race and obviously, f- what five minutes before you want to be in the pen. So yeah, that's the way I was working it. But who who won then? Uh, Richard Barry got the win. Is that his first Tuz race? I think it might have been his first Tuz race. I know he's been doing well in the Cycling Ireland League on the Saturdays. Yeah, uh, his name's always there on the live stream. They seem to be following Richard Barry a lot. So he's been doing about this was his first does. He's been doing a. He's been at the sharp end of some of the cross races. I think he was fifth oh, oh, aye, yeah. in the national cross jumps last year, the running race. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyone that didn't get yeah. lapped at that race was at at the meeting. So he he won. Uh, so the course was basically um, what was the name of the, the place? The not, course was called it? Libby Hill After Party. Yeah. So it's pretty much just flat. There's five laps of a flat circuit, uh, and then the stinger at the end up the hill. A few cobbles thrown in. What's five um, stinging? Yeah, the anybody as Tommy Evans said, we'll we'll go to Tommy later. Uh, anybody who has a really great one minute par was going to win, and Tommy Evans said Richard Barry, and Richard Barry won. Yeah, so he's re- joined by Tommy on the. Uh Yes, Tommy's come on to the, the commentator team, as we're probably going to call it, yeah. So, for anybody who doesn't know Tommy Evans, former RAS winner and yeah. former national champ. Have you been stalking him as well? Cycling coach. Uh, he's been stalking our Glenn, yeah. believe it or not. Yeah, yeah you're... He's actually impressed. Well, some people were questioning, and uh, it's hard to believe like someone like myself could actually try and pick for an event that didn't happen, <laughs> a.k.a. The, the, the cross jumps, you know? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I believe I was stalked. He was been looking at my numbers and stuff. So, uh, yes, thank you, Tommy, for the, the foot of confidence, basically. Yeah, he's following, following 
other people on swift power as well so yeah just be careful yes no weight dopers height dopers yeah there's quite a, quite a different uh way you can quite a few different ways you can dope on on, on swift um yep Dozzy trainers, as he was saying himself, but uh, yeah, big thanks to Tommy for coming on board and getting involved, putting putting back into the sport. A lot of people yep. don't bother, but um, yeah, it's good to see him getting involved and his insight to cycling and and Swift. Some crazy yeah, numbers. Well, to give you, just to give you an idea of Tommy's level on Swift. So last year, yeah. he rode twenty thousand kilometers on Swift, and he's at level fifty. So anybody who knows Swift will know the levels. Yeah. And I think I'm currently on level 26. Well, I'm only on 20. Yeah, he, he's on level 50. Yeah. And he knows every course. He says he has back, every bike. Down, yeah. Every bike. It does take a wee while to get used to uh, Swift and then knowing the courses, which, again, is another insight of how to get results as well and the finish and that. But that, that Libby Hill, um, what was it, 1K, if even? Yeah, roughly, yeah. Roughly one minute effort. One minute effort. Uh, Tuesday, I sort of was one minute ten or something of it, or one minute nine, I think, where we were talking about it. Yeah. And uh, the legs fell off what, at the was, bottom. What was your time on Wednesday, Glenn? Close to three minutes. <laughs> it's, uh, I was out, out during the summer with a guy on a battery bike, and his battery went dead, and I've never seen anyone go backwards <laughs> as fast in my life, apart yeah. from myself the other night. A moving baller, I shall say. But... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, good flat race. Good to stay in, in the in the group. Tommy uh, also mentioned a few different things that I even learned. You know, like the sticky watts was a thing. Sticky watts, yeah. Picking up other groups. So um, yeah, it was a good race to, to do. Um, what other stats do we have from the race then? The over the yeah, overall. Well, I can give you the winners in all categories. Go here. for that. Might as well, give them guys a shout out. Richard yeah. Barry, obviously first in the A race. B race winner was Rodney Young, who yeah. also won last week. Very good. So he's going well. Uh, Guy from the UK, John Crother, got the win in the C. Second place, Alwyn McKee from the Tuz League. So he's, I think he's Apollo CC. He has a few wins in the Cs as well. Brilliant. And uh, the D winner was Davy Gordon. I know Davy Gordon, uh, but I'm not sure if it's the same one. 44 riders disqualified for various things, like no hard rate monitor or holding on the cars. Yeah. yeah. Um, do we need to talk about next week? Next week is round number seven, so it's nearly over. What uh, many next rounds week's is there? Probably going to be ten. Eight. 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 Oh, jeez. Yeah. Next week's Greater London eight. One lap, twenty-four k. But towards the end, uh, you have Box Hill, which is three k's long. So I, we were sort of working that out. I probably should have looked the Strava up before we did this. How long that's going to take? Yeah. Um, we were estimating between ten and twelve minutes, maybe. It's hard to know. It's, it's probably going to be one for the wee skinnies. Well, that'll be me. But uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll go on there and we'll get a get a wee go at that. Um, I'll throw the map up on here. You've you've on yes, the notes here. The put the map up on on the screen here. Um, from Swift, is it Swift Insider? You want that on from? Yep. Um, yeah, they they have all the details. And I can also put the naughty list on as well from last week. Put them forty four riders that were DQ'd on the screen for different reasons. You know, as as you were talking there on Wednesday night, there's some people probably don't even know about Swift. Is a Swift par? Swift Power, yeah. I think James Curry was one. He was riding away in the A's, doing everything no problem. And when it came to the results at the end, his name wasn't there. Yeah. So I just don't think he is registered with Swift Power. I think I'm pretty sure he was like fifth. You don't have to, but it, or, or do you? I, I don't. You do to get a, to get in the results, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Because that's how it's all uh, doped, made fair, controlled. Basically. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, like Zada. Yeah, J- J- James could have been in the D race. True. True, and then disqualified. Yeah. So yeah, London next week, and then there's one more after that, and apparently that's Hilly again, but yeah, we'll have to do a yeah, wee the, recon. It's, the last one's really long in distance as well, it's just near 40k. I don't have the info on the last Will that be one. A, that'll take a wee while longer. Oh yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, I did that race on Tuesday night, and there was power-ups. Um, so out of that bottom corner, where everyone was coming out for the, the sprint, there was, lo- there was a, a sprint. First lap in the air got dropped, um, and it seemed to be for the power ups. Now we don't have the power ups in ours, is that right? Well, you did have the power ups because Ross was using his feather whip. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So, so how do you get the yeah. how do you get the power ups? He was quite he was quite cross as well because he was waiting on another power up coming and he didn't get it. <laughs> you probably heard him from the stream raging. He was ah. 
I don't get it. So it must be but over yeah, the, the um, first few over the banner, or what is it? The power ups. I'm not sure how you be get them. Uh, I'm trying to get just the guide for the power ups here. Um, you have the feather weight and the arrow boost. Either, either yeah, or. Feather weight. The, the feather weight is obviously the one you wanted for the end of that yeah. race. Yeah. You know, or a draft for hill. a couple of seconds yeah, break. And, and use an arrow boost uh, for just the flat. Yeah. Yeah. But. Yeah, it's the luck of the draw, I think. I don't think yeah. it's just the luck of the draw, what you get. You're not going to cast ride the, the last round, are you? No. Oh. no. All my training's AM. AM. Well, a few more weeks of this. If did the last round, there would be no stream, so... You could do it remotely, wireless keyboard. Um, I'm sort of thinking to myself, two more races and then turn Swift off. The weather is quite good. The good bike has been built. Um borrowing some bits off the cross bike so yeah we're ready we're ready to rock and roll in the real world yeah um, the, re the real world has been good this week for me i've been out pretty much every day tuesday wednesday thursday in the real world in the morning true. time it's been dry and warmish it's brilliant now a few other things that sort of came across during the week was me and you were having a chat about nu nutrition um i'm prone to taking the bonk um and you were sort of questioning me about it and was sort of looking into food and SIS is who I'm dealing with through the shop and we we'll noticed that they have two new well, two new substances, shall we say. Not not in the Russian route, not I was telling you about. Um <laughs> but they do one and it's called Turbo Plus. Um and it has menthol in it to reduce it's it's turbo based for the turbo trainer. Again it's got menthol based to reduce your thermal uh stress so i'm gonna get that i'm gonna give it a go i'm gonna order it hopefully it comes before the last round um but yeah that's something we're gonna look into and I'll, you know get an honest opinion from me whether it's worth it or not and then there's so most stuff if glenn wins the last round everybody's going to be out buying this menthol increased thermal yeah. stress we'll give it a go they're going to be sold out well, I'm only buying one to see how it goes. The, 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 the fully tested, first of all. Um, and also coming up is another stuff called Performance Nitrate Powder, a carbohydrate drink. So we're going to give that. That's for, for loading two or three days out. All this is new to me. I was just taking a look by the SAS a couple of, couple of hours before and bloating myself out. So the bloat was bad on Wednesday night. Just trying to figure out how, what, what's causing the bonking so, so well, easily as well. I sort of said to you a couple of different things we were talking and um, just trying to fire too much water and too close to the race. After 20 odd years of racing, you think you'd have it mastered, but you know, when you are a master, with a wee bit of the grey there, you know, you sort of need every small advantage that you can get. So, yeah, those watch out for those. Um, I'll try and get a, a, a full honest review on them. Um, are you going to be watching the racing at the weekend? I'm going to try, but. I like to try and keep that all just in case I need something to view when I'm on the turbo for a couple of hours. So I usually like watching something, letting on, letting on yeah, your racing. Those things on the turbo. So I tend to miss them when they're live and watch them again in the mornings on the turbo. But so we've had, the weather's been decent and yeah, it's hard to later in the mornings now. Of course, stretch in the morning. Of course, stretch. Um, so yeah, we've had uh, Sam Bennett. He's won two this week, hasn't he? Yeah, he's got he got a second race today turbo. or a second win today. Spoiler alert. If you're listening, uh, probably not. I'll probably not get this out for a couple of couple of hours, you know. Um, yeah. So I had that, and yeah. then we had a La Machu one on at the start of the yeah, week. Yeah, he got he got his win on on stage one. And then uh, it looked like, very impressive. I actually watched it, rewatched it today. Very impressive, but uh, a bit unfortunate what happened then. After. Been sent home. I'm sure somebody got a yeah. trollic on there. Um, yeah. So yeah, we have. I don't know if I want to try and pronounce these here. Um, we have Kern Brussels Kern on Sunday. Yeah. And what's the one on Saturday? Kent Wellerdrum. Uh, <laughs> it's called. Uh, give me one second. Go Om for it. Omloop het newsblad. Yeah, that's a newspaper, isn't it? Omloop het newsblad. Yeah. So I have them at the weekend. Any picks? Uh, I was actually just flicking through there. There's quite a good. Uh, is it the Kearney Quick Step? Alan Philippe, Zidanex D bars there. Full head squad. Like a wee long range, at, like D bar because he's obviously from the cross. Like. Yeah. Well, as long as it's good racing, yeah, that's, that's Greg all. Greg Van Avermaet, maybe. Greg, I have a guy on Facebook, and he was watching all go go up the mirror with plenty of photos and stuff, and it's quite 
it's just getting hyped up for it, you know. So that'll be yeah. that'll be Sunday. Yeah, that race on Saturday, Sunday. Sunday. It, it's hard to know. It's hard to know that race on Sunday if Alpecin Phoenix are going to do it with. Yeah, I seen a tweet put out by. Um, can see that happening for them. I seen a tweet put out by uh, Andrew Vanderpool, the father of. Um, he's there's a bit of hype. Oh, you're your best mate. Well, Jim's best mate. Jim's his, his pit buddy, you know, whenever they were in Amsterdam or uh, <laughs> Bel- or Holland. Uh, the best talk- mate, Audrey. Oh, I talking away. We'd done three races and they were all beside each other in the pits and then by the end of the week they sort of knew each other, you know. Um, so, yeah, I seen a tweet put out by him that he was just calling it that they haven't actually made a decision yet where some of the other, other ones were already claiming that he was doing it. So, yeah, as long as it's good racing, that's all we need. Yeah, I suppose with the COVID, positive COVID test in the UAE tour, if yeah. Matthew and all the boys test negative, can they still race? Or that they uh, isolate? I don't know if the isolation thing's the same applies here as it does with the end guys. I don't know what... Go and hug, go and hug whoever, they, whoever they want. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's it. That's one to look out for. Hopefully this is coming across all right, because we've got the new internet in today. The only thing with that is the router is on the ground floor and you I know, know I've tried on my, the top I've tried floor. my best. I've tried my best. So I've an Ethernet cable yeah. running up the stairs here, like you told me, but there's no Ethernet connection in the, on this MacBook. <laughs> so just yeah. bear with me. Um, what what you can do is get a Thunderbolt to Ethernet for your new MacBook and plug it. There we go. We've got we've got the room set up, set it up last Friday as I said, or last Sunday with the kids. Two mics, we've one here, we've another one there. Um, we've got a place for Eden and doing a couple of other things, so it's all happening. And um, well, to those that I've uh, been in contact with, once the lockdown's lifted, you're more welcome to come here. Maybe record two or three on Wednesdays. And um, well, yeah. you can hear that, can you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I've sound soundproofing panels there as well to get up. Um, <laughs> well, lovely to do list. Um, so yeah. I think that's us for, for today anyway, unless you have something yeah. else to... Just uh, hope come after Easter we can get some road racing done and get some stuff yeah. to talk about. Yeah. Even um, club local club races, TTs. Yeah, send, send us whatever you want in. Um, yeah. seen a friend today and said, well, you listen to the podcast. And just shot me down. He said, mate, it's boring as hell because all you're doing is talking about Swift. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, I know, but that's the only thing that, that, that's happening. And he's like, yeah... yeah. But, don't really care much about Swift. So, yeah, thanks for your honest feedback, guys. Um, uh, ah, yeah. If hopefully. it's crap, tell us. Yeah. Um, hit, hit the comments below anyway. But we'll leave it for there and we'll check in next week. Um, use four commentating next week as, again with Ross on board. Yeah, see, hopefully same format. Sometimes Tommy's not available in the evenings. Okay. So let's hope he is because uh, wealth of knowledge there. Excuse Definitely. Me. Better him commentating on it than, than writing it and ring, ring yeah, us all out. Yeah, it's just me and Fiona talking a bit of crap. Uh, Ross was the man behind the Swift and knew everything, but sure, he's now back at it. it. Well, yeah, so um, whenever he's on a full effort, it's uh, hard all to goes quiet, yeah. talk. So it's good to bring in another expert. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll, sure, we'll check in again. Tommy. We'll check in again next week, and then we'll be on to the final round then. Final round after that, yeah. That'll be and it. then there's going to be a wee break. So I think it's just going to be maybe like group rides yeah. for Tuz for a while, and then uh, possibly another league yeah. starting. Not not sure. That's up to Ross. He's the boss. Well, I I'm going to turn it off because I want to actually try and get out in the real world and not sick myself of it and save, save I think it you for should keep it on just to do the Wednesday night races, though. I know. Well, I don't know. Left you can real world the rest of the week. Twelve pound a week. I know. I know. Twelve pound a month. Yeah. yeah. Right. Twelve pound a month for just streaming. Well. You're on the, <laughs> yeah, have enough, enough coming out of the counts. Um, yeah. yeah, that's us, guys. Thanks. Right, see you again next week, round six, seven. Yes, Beginning podcast.